Now I've done unspeakable things in my dropshipping career to find winning products that I can monetize. From visiting local flea markets to punching kids repeatedly until they give me the scoop as to what's hot on the street. I will do literally anything to find the next winning product. But what I realized through all of these trials and tribulations is that there was one tool out there that could simplify and lower the time it takes for me to find winning products in an instant and that tool will be revealed in this video. Now before your eyes gaze upon this tool, I must show you how powerful this is with the right action. Now, as you can see on this list of products, I am not the one who researched these, but at my agency, we have a product research team that uses a variety of different dropshipping tools and builds up a list of products for yours truly to review. And when you go to the source of the products that they're finding, you'll notice over and over and over again, one tool keeps on appearing. PP ads. Yes, the tool with the incorrect punctuation and clearly Google translated copy is the best product research tool in 2022 for dropshippers. Now the broke boys might be saying, Ethan, I can't possibly invest $263 a month into a product research tool. What do you think I'm made out of money? And here's the thing. It's not about being made out of money. You can do a lot of stuff to make this kind of money. You can start your own NFT collection. You can invest into Dogecoin. Frankly, you could rob somebody, maybe your parents. I don't care the means in which you get the resources to afford this tool. It's just important that you do get them. Because if you're not using this tool, you're just letting your competition fly by you. It's like tying one leg behind your other in a 100 meter race. Now, before we use this tool, we need to know what actually makes up a winning product. Now, if you click the link in my description, you can get my free 69 page ebook, nice, that details all of the main things that I look for and products along with what tools that I like to use as well. Now the first most important thing you need to look for in every winning product is does it either create a desire or does it solve a problem for a specific audience? Does it save time? Does it save money? Does it help with my confidence? Does it make me happy? What does the product actually do? Because most people buy products to solve a problem, not just to own a random product. For instance, with this product right here, and you're probably wondering what the hell is that? Is that some gigantic plan B pill? No, it's actually something that is used to clear your acne. It's great for skincare. So why would someone ever buy something that looks like an ecstasy pill? Well, it solves the problem. If you're someone that does have skincare issues and you know, oh, if I use ice packs that can definitely help me clear my skin. It can give your skin a healthy glow. And really, it's a lot easier to sell these problem solving products if you are a beginner and you're new to marketing and copywriting. However, there's also products that don't really solve a problem like these glasses. It could be a necklace like this one right here. It doesn't really solve a problem. Sure, it can complete an outfit, but really people are buying it because it looks cool. So when we look at this product right here, I mean, this is just a car air freshener. It's pretty useless. It's a very cheap item, but oh my goodness, it's got a rap album on it. It looks super cool. You're seeing a record spinning in your car. Instantly, you're like, dang, I want one of those. That's super awesome. So that's the desire that you really want to hit. That's the feeling you want to evoke if you're selling a product that's really trying to create a desire. When you look at the product, you're like, damn, even I would sort of want to buy that. And if it really doesn't give you that emotion, then you shouldn't be selling that product. Now, the next thing I look for in a product is, does it improve someone's confidence? I really do feel like that's a great selling point for a lot of products. And the biggest ones that I've ever had, like the waist trainer that I sold and scaled to 61,000 in 14 days, in case you haven't seen that video, make sure to check it out. But yeah, that product solved a huge pain point for my audience because it tackled confidence. It made you look more beautiful. It's something that provided a transformation. So when we look at this product right here, lose wrinkles with five minute therapy. I mean, that's a pretty good hook. I'm not going to lie. And as we can see, again, it's another skincare product. It helps you repair your skin. And if we go in, okay, yeah, removes fine lines and wrinkles. So this is a beauty product. And you notice with a lot of beauty products, that's the main selling point. It really improves your confidence at the end of the day because you look beautiful. And when you're beautiful, you feel good, you feel sassy, and you feel like you can take on the entire world. So products like that are really easy sells. And obviously there's other things you wanna look for in products like making sure they have the right margin. Now, everyone has different rules when it comes to margin. For me personally, I look for products that I can resell for three to five X the supplier cost. So if I'm selling this water bottle and it costs me five bucks, I wanna make sure I can at least sell this for around $25. So that's three to five X the cost from the supplier and at least a $20 margin. Now, why $20? Well, when you're advertising on TikTok, Facebook, wherever, you have to account the cost for advertising. And it's really, really difficult to get cost per purchases under $20 already. So having a product that has a much higher margin 
means you have more room to test and do new creatives and be able to have slower days because your margins are just that great. Compared to if you're selling phone cases that cost 10 bucks, I mean, you gotta be an ad wizard. It is incredibly difficult, plus those are really generic, so I would just avoid those altogether. And then the final thing is wow factor. And I get it's ambiguous and it's different for everyone, but really, wow factor is usually a product that is a unique variation of an already proven concept, or it's just something you've never seen before. So if you really wanna put it into technical terms, that's what it means to me, and that's what it can mean to you. So when we look at this product right here, there are plenty of different earrings and cool designs out there, but this one right here is pretty unique. The fact that it wraps around your ear, it's sort of like a Bluetooth headphone, but it's also just a really cool sparkly, ooh, look at that, that looks really, really nice. Honestly, I didn't think you could make ears bougie, but with this, it's got a lot of wow factor. Again, anything shiny has a decent amount of wow factor, but it's a really, really beautiful jewelry set. So now that you decided to scrape up the money to afford one month of PP ads, let's talk about how you can build an enormous list of products that you can test over the next couple of months. So if you go into TikTok ad search, PP ads already does the work for you. If you really want, what you can do is go to categories, go to dropship, and they have all the filters already done for you. Jeez Louise, do they have to make it easier? I don't think so. Now, the other setting I like to do here is make sure that the ads have at least a thousand likes. That's a good baseline. If an ad doesn't have that many likes, it's usually just not a product with a lot of traction. And I like to sell products that already have a decent amount of hype, not too much hype. And by too much hype, I mean, if I can find five to 10 different sellers of it and all their ads are popping off, that usually means the product is very saturated. But if I only see one to two companies really killing it with the product, that means I know I can jump onto the bandwagon, create an amazing website, create a better offer than my competition, and I can steal that market share from them. And I will go through page after page to find something that works. So for instance, we have this frog hoodie that looks really, really cool. Now, I know this is a great dropshipping product, so let's click Sorry. on it. And when we break it down, we can see 2.4K likes, 77 shares. Now, let's break down what is the ideal engagement ratio we're looking for here. Now, I would say the ideal engagement you're looking for on ads is one share per every 30 likes. Now, obviously, the lower that is, the better. So if I can get one share to one like ratio, that's insane. That means obviously people are clearly interested. They're sharing to their friends. It's getting organic engagement because you can fake likes. You can buy them. And really, when you advertise for a long time, you're just naturally going to get likes. And you can do stuff like conversion campaigns. And you can also do view content. So you can really manipulate the like number. But if there's shares, that's usually a much more concrete way of determining the likability. So right here, I would say it's what? About one in 30, one in 35. So I would say that's just matching our criteria. So when we look at the actual ad, oh, it's a little girl. She's got her frog hoodie on and she's all alone. Oh, she doesn't have a frog buddy. Yeah, that's how I feel 99% of the time when people don't buy my products. I just fall and die immediately and then you see me in one of these videos every week. So I would say it's a pretty eye-catching product. Does it really solve a problem? Absolutely not. Is it cool? I think for a certain audience of people, definitely obviously a younger demographic, this can be a cool thing to wear around home. I can definitely see a lot of young kids, teenagers buying this kind of stuff. And then going on to the next page, we have, what is this? I actually have not watched this. So again, it's popping off in Canada. Oh, look at this. So some sort of starry night projector. I mean, projectors, in my opinion, are a bit saturated. I think this it's just been absolutely tapped out. There's just so many of these projectors, but let's look at the like to share ratio. It's about one in 20, which is pretty solid. Again, it is a very, very young ad, so it's hard to tell if this is really a winning product. So again, it depends on your experience. I know from my own experience, I personally like to avoid products like this because I just know way too saturated in general of a niche. Now, right next to this product, we have a fidget pen. I mean, look at that. That is super eye-catching. It's something I've never seen before. Is it a variation of a winning product? I haven't seen many pen winning products, but dang, that is what Wow Factor looks like. You're like, geez Louise, that is super cool. Like imagine if you're in class or if you were back in high school, just having something like this that can write notes, but you can also play around with when you're bored. I mean, that is something I would definitely be interested in buying. But let's go into a few other settings with the TikTok ad search. So if you really wanna narrow it down, I would say ads within the last 40 to 30 days is really good. You want recent ads to find winning products that are popping off right now and not, obviously months and months ago. Now, 
After this, you can obviously specify by certain countries, and this is what I taught my product research team. We will do United States as a search. We will do Canada as its own search. We'll do UK, because products will be popping off in all of these different countries. Germany sometimes, you never know. You might also wanna play around with the likes again. So maybe you wanna do, okay, I wanna only see products that are getting 9,000 likes. So they're getting a ton of validation here. Alrighty, I think we found an interesting one here. The viral TikTok curly wig. Now, whenever I see something that's like the TikTok blank, TikTok leggings, I'm a big fan of it. So wigs, very high margin product. Again, it depends on like the type of material. I know synthetic goes for more typically, human hair goes for more, and then there's laces. But yeah, that looks like a really nice wig. She's popping, she's looking good, she's looking fleek. If she went to the clubs, I mean, she's gonna have a lot of guys hitting on her, I can tell. Now let's go to their landing page. Let's see how much they're selling this for, because you can sell wigs from literally 50 bucks to $500, it's crazy. So 140 bucks. It depends on the material again, but a lot of times these products cost maybe 20 to $30. So the margins are absolutely insane. Now you might be saying, Ethan, that's a little bit sus that you know that much about wigs. And to my response, I say, sir, why don't you mind your own business? I've been in the e-commerce game for a while and maybe I started my own wig store back in the day and it just, didn't really do very well because I don't know much about wigs and I thought because I could sell waist trainers very effectively to women that I was just a woman speaking expert aficionado. You know what, let's just get into our next ad. So this one is a free piece of jewelry. That's how they're getting a ton of engagement here. I'm not a big fan of free plus shipping. I think it's completely dead in 2022 and beyond. Now, when you look at this, this is the example of a time bomb. It's not real, this is a grenade. 14,000 likes and 75 shares is absolutely atrocious, but I can see a lot of beginners saying, oh my God, it got 14,000 likes. This thing's popping off. This is gonna be the product that makes me go crazy. I'm gonna have so much money. I'm gonna invest everything into Dogecoin and just become a trillionaire. But yeah, when I see that, that's definitely a red flag. So I'm gonna avoid products with that kind of ratio. Now wait just a gosh darn minute. You've enjoyed all of this value, but you haven't even smashed the like or subscribed on this underrated channel. I'll give you a minute, but I have to say I'm a little disappointed. Now you can also click on the winning product tool when using PP ads to, again, get some new ads shown to you. So when we go over here, we have that pen ad that we already saw. Ooh, we got a cool little moon necklace. Let's take a look at this. So when we scroll on in, oh, that's the exact necklace I'm wearing right now. What the f I did not actually play on that, that's crazy. Why am I not selling this right now? This person's making hundreds of thousands of dollars selling it. I've been sleeping. Well, I've officially been put on notice for that, but let's scroll on down and see if there's anything else that's catching our eye. Now, I wanna do this with you so you can sort of see how I'm identifying a winning product or at least a drop shipping product versus something that's not. Now, teeth whitening, I wouldn't recommend. Health in general, health and fitness, I notice, get disapproved a lot by TikTok. They're just not fans, so I would avoid that product. Now this, I have sold this in the past. It's done decent, it makes sales. I haven't really been able to scale it. I don't think I have the right offer, but man, it's a really cool product. This is a TikTok product through and through. It's super cool. It creates that desire. When you see it, you're like, wow, I sort of want that in my house. I want to be cuddling that because I have no girlfriend and I got absolutely no game. When I'm on Tinder and I'm swiping right, I don't know what to say besides, hey mama, I like the work that your mother did. Now scrolling in the same section, we got some home decor. Okay, okay. Let's see what they did here. So this is just a collage. I mean, this is not really that great of a TikTok ad. If they really wanted to do a TikTok ad, I would say do a different photo every single second. It's too slow. But even though that it's very slow, it still has 350,000 impressions, which isn't that bad. Oh, this is a classic. Now, a few of you OGs on this channel will remember this product because we actually tested it. It's the Lip Plumping Serum. Now, it's a pretty decent product. I believe we scaled it to around $200, $300 a day, which is pretty decent. So let's take a look at this ad. Now, why did I decide to sell this product? Solves a problem, it improves confidence. The one problem though with this product is it is cheap. I could only sell it for maybe $14.99. It's just a very small bottle of this treatment. So that's the one downside when you're selling products that don't have a lot of margin. It's really hard to get those cost per purchases of $8, $6. You have to be an absolute wizard. And even though I do ads for a living and I do all these pixel hacking methods and I talk to experts, it's very, very hard to get cost per purchases that low. And scrolling down, we got the anti-anxiety ring. There are so many great products and this is just the first page with this tool. PP Ads is absolutely putting everyone on game and making it so easy. So I highly recommend, if you're on a budget, 
Just afford one month of this tool for 30 days, really lock in, build a list of a ton of different products that you can test because with this tool, just with one month of it, you can find more products than you would with every other tool combined. Now, a thing you have to keep in mind, young dropshipper, is that everyone watching this video is competing with you and they're watching this and they're gonna implement exactly what I'm teaching step by step. So you need to be trying out filters on your own and figuring out what works best for you because I'm giving you a template you need to make the template your own and modify it so that it works best for you so I would recommend doing things with the ad keyword play around with adding words that you see in a lot of ads like shop shop now sale end soon Black Friday all of this different types of stuff that you know you see in ads that you personally do so obviously other advertisers are doing it too so when we scroll on down when we shake things up with the filters ooh, we're getting all new ads and that's just really what you want to do constantly shake up the filter so you get new ads shown to you that you haven't already seen before and that's the main thing that we do with our product research team because when you're doing this six to eight hours a day you're always seeing the same ads so the only way for you to discover new products is always shaking things up and doing a ton of page clicking. So with this new filter, as you can see right here, we found this great oh, shapewear product. Now shapewear obviously sells really well. And oh, 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 oh wait, hey, hey, can we zoom? Can we go back? I mean, geez, geez Louise, I mean, we're gonna just skip by that. I mean, holo, holo, homo, homo, homo. Now, now, this is a great product. Now, I know I'm just being a pig, but really, this is something that I would recommend selling because it increases confidence. It's got great margins. It solves a problem for a lot of girls out there. A comfy push-up bra is not something you see very often. Usually they have wires and stuff that gets in the way. So again, when we look at the engagement on this ad, the share to like ratio is definitely within our guidelines. So this is great. And again, you just need to constantly be shaking things up. So keywords, you can do, again, do the shop and sale, all that stuff. But yeah, this product, would I sell it? A hundred percent because yes, it does solve a problem. It does have the right margin. Can I build a brand around this product? I do believe so if you have the right name to this product. So it might be the Sculpt Fit Bra. I'm not 100% sure. Usually when I come up with names of products, let me actually show you how I do that. So what I typically do is I'll go to business name generator or namelikes.com and I'll just look up the keywords of the product. So I will just do bra. We maybe can include push up. who knows? So we could do, if we scroll on over here, the darling bra. We could do, 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 scrolling on down. Is there anything else that really catches my eye? Miss bra is decent. I would say the plush bra could be an option. You just want to try to make it branded because if you just do push up bra, it doesn't sound branded and people just don't have that trust. Peachy bra, the ultimate shapewear bra. It could be something as simple as that, but always, always, always emphasize having a branded product name because it will drastically improve your conversion rate. But another way you can use keywords is to look up keywords in a specific niche. So if you wanna see beauty products, obviously look up the word beauty. If you wanna see home decor, look up decor. You'll notice that when you really do all these different keywords, that's how you're gonna discover products that no one else are. But I'm really curious, let's see what's popping off in Germany lately. So if we do this, Again, I know it sounds crazy, but we will find products that are popping off in Argentina and Brazil, and when we sell them, they do extremely well to the Western market. So this is a great way, again, of looking where no one else is and finding that undercover gold. So let's just scroll for a few and see if we can find something. And would you look at that? That's a really interesting mask. I'm not gonna lie. So this is like a skincare light therapy mask. I wonder if this is in German. Before and after because- No, it's in English, oh my God. But again, you're never gonna see this if you did United States or you do even the normal ways. But because we searched by Germany, this is one of the top ads right here. All you really wanna do is just shake things up, play around with the different platforms, play around with ad impressions, play around with likes because you never know what you're gonna find until you do. And then the final thing you need to do once you find all these amazing products with PP ads is you need to have a spreadsheet to organize everything. So for me, this is how I have my spreadsheet. I will always have the product name, the supplier link. So after finding a good product, I will look it up on CJ. If it's not there, then AliExpress. After this, how much am I buying this for? What am I selling it for? What's the profit margin? Where did I find this product? Where's the ad for? Then I'll write a description, make sure to have a document. So this is actually the spreadsheet we use at my agency, this document right here. So what we do personally is we find products, then we'll write a description for it. We create the ads, we create the website. So whenever we test it for a client, we have everything prepared. So for this first product, it's magnetic eyelashes. And as you can see right here, we got the CJ dropshipping link, even though it's super zoomed in. Now, after we do this, then I'll have my copy writer who has access to this list who writes a full description so get gorgeous natural looking lashes without using annoying glue or mascara I mean god dang your boy knows how to teach copywriters you guys absolutely know 
I love copywriting. It's my biggest passion. I love writing. I mean, that's why I wrote a free product research guide that you can get in the link in the bio. Shameless plug. But then after that, and we have the description written out, my ad team will use the description to create two highly effective ads on TikTok. So it depends on the platform that you're using to advertise, but just to keep everything nice and neat, I would recommend having a drive like this where you create a folder for ads for each product. So it's nice and neat. You get all the best clips online, just like this. It looks great. And then the final thing you can do is create a website and logo because for me, I like to do one product brands for every single product because that maximizes the chance that it will succeed. And you really want to do that. It's like building a supporting cast around your quarterback or around your star basketball player. If everything else is incredibly well, so the branding, your website, your ads, then if your product has a chance of becoming a winner, it's much higher when you have all the pieces together rather than a mess. So right here, we have a logo fully made, Cosmic Lash, it looks absolutely beautiful. We have the Favicon, and then we have the homepage code. So all we do is copy this code onto a new Shopify store and it creates an entire website that looks nice and beautiful. So let me show you a quick example of what that looks like. So right here is a quick example of one of the clients that we scale to $1,000 a day. And this is exactly how most of our websites look like. We like to follow a nice theme that has worked for us. This is a proven template. So if you're making your descriptions, this is a great way to get inspiration. So the main things I would keep in mind, make sure you have your shipping times, make sure you have your 30 day better than risk-free guarantee. And obviously make sure you have some urgency and social proof. So there you have it. PP ads is the best product research tool in 2022. But if you want to have my team of experts finding you winning products for you, building your stores, creating your ads and managing your ads until you find a winning product, like with this client right here, I would recommend booking a call down below.